Hello everybody, this is Bestmoss here, and today we're going to be playing the most gamer-esque game ever, Fisting Universe Simulator. Let's get right to it. This game was like, uh, I think it was on sale from like $10 to like 99 cents, and then I used my gold coins on the Switch. So I got this game for literally 30 cents, and thank god, I, don't, I would never want to pay $10 for this game, because, man, like... Everyone knows, gamers love fishing and everything. It's the most gamer thing to do and it's the manliest thing to do in the world. Fishing is the best thing ever in the world. Look at that, there's a fish right there. Can't tell me that's not a pure gamer moment right there. So, this game, I, uh, there is, this game I actually wanted to get was, uh, what's it called? Uh, Fishing Star World Tour. But this game will have to do until then because that game was $30 and it was on sale for $20, but USA decided, hey, screw you. Your car, your bank account's closed, and it's a, it's a debit card. What are those fists doing? All right, I don't think that's how fists work. Oh, are they just pushing each other? All right, it's great AI. That'll be really great. Oh my god, look at that. Oh my god, this game looks so amazing. Yeah, dude. Whoa, what are they? Dude, what are they doing? Are they stuck? Have I been on the menu too? Dude, they're like one. Oh my god, that's not okay. Dude, they're like Newton balls or something. How like they're just clacking together like that and they get stuck. What? Why do these two fists like clip together? Oh no, what's gonna happen? Oh no, now there's three in the mix. Dude, these fists, what is up with them? Anyways, I wanted to get Fishing Star World Tour, but this game. Like I said, I got it for 30 cents. I'm, I'm gonna take up that offer, considering it was gonna be $10 originally. So yeah, Fizzing Star World Tour, it looks like a great game. I actually really love it. That game I unironically really wanna play, but this one, this is like the real deal, Fizzing. So I've already wasted two minutes blabbering. Um, I played this like a tiny bit just to get an idea of it. I still have no idea how to play. <laughs> so you guys are gonna watch me struggle playing this. Uh, this is great. Look at this. Look at these graphics. Okay, here you will learn how to play. How to catch fists using the float and spinning method. Dude, when I was playing this earlier, it was raining in the game. Go to the indicated location on the platform using the left stick. Alright. Man, this looks nice. It looks nice outside. It was raining like crazy whenever I started playing this. That's weird. Does it have like its own like weather cycle or something, I guess? Like different times of day? That's weird. I get comfy because like looking up while talking for some reason is not very light to my jaw it doesn't feel great I don't know try talking while looking up that it's not a very pleasant feeling most people don't look up when talking unless you're short or whatever I guess cast the line choose any oh I can look at the screen on my computer uh, cast the line choose any place on the water touch cast or X remember to cast so your bait won't tangle with obstacles Memory to cast it, yeah. Which results in the hook breaking line. And we don't want that. Alright. Um, okay, so finger things right there. I can't use touch controls because I'm using the controller to capture this. Because it's currently impossible to, uh, to record it in handheld mode, you know? As, as far as I know. Okay. Jamming. Wait until the fist takes the bait. Uh, the float must go under the surface of the water, then firmly move the virtual stick on the screen, or left stick up. Alright, so once it's in there, I move it up. Alright, so we've got the little right stick. That's for reeling it in. I like how it just kind of pops up. Look at that, there's my arm. Woo! Oh god! Oh god! Ah! Go! Ah! It's... ah. Am I, am I doing it? Come on, fist! Dude, my, my controller started vibrating like crazy. I don't. You can probably hear that from here. Jeez. All right. So I go like this, and then I just reel it in. I guess. Just like real life. I wish it had motion controls. Fisting Star World Tour does. That's what I'm actually excited about because it gives like the whole excitement. It takes advantage of uh, the motion controls and HD rumble and all that. Like most games, I really wish would do that, but that's cool. So, 
It's nice. At least it's ah. Okay. Ah. Ah. Fish. Fishy. Fisher. Ah. Get him. Did I catch him? What the heck? Where, where's the fish? All right. I'll cast it here. What does that do? What is that? Oh, is that tighten it? Oh, it's tightening the string. Wait, is it? Oh. Ah, I'm just... Come on. What am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. This game is hard. I don't know what I'm doing too much. Okay, so I, whenever it comes in, I reel it in. Oh! Alright, come on, come on, come on! Oh, I think I lost it. I think I almost had it. Can you hear it whenever it vibrates? It's, it's very aggressive. So I guess I just waggle it a little bit. This is kind of scary because just freaking it jerks so much. Like it just aggressively just goes like, and doesn't even freaking like properly like simulate fighting whatever most. Okay, let me just reel that in. Can't wait till we get like VR fishing. That would, that'd be great. That's the future, man. So I've been fishing in real life before, so. I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember all my skills from it. I'm just like messing around with the controls, and I'm just like, ah, what am I doing? Oh, okay. The reel, the fist, the sore. You need to turn the reel, the reel on the screen or right stick. Make sure the tension uh, line is not exceeded, as the indicator on the line tension. Too much tension will cause the break and loss of the fist. So I guess I gotta press up on it really quickly and then reel it in. Oh, I got a fist! I got a fist! Alright, I got him. I got a gruesome carp. Look at that! Alright, so in that, uh, touch the icon and press A. Net management. Kept fists are now located in your net. You can remove fists from the net, touching the release icon or pressing A. To make place or go to the fists market and sell fists. Oh, cool. Empty the net with a fist. Alright. Put away the net. Uh, put away the net with fists. Did I just put it in the water? This is weird. It's like... It's almost like as like complicated as real fishing. I mean, I guess that's why it's called like what is this? Fishing Universe Simulator. Wait, right? Yeah. Oh, so I got I got off House of Golf. It's a cute game. It's a cute game. Uh, let's see. dude, the vibrations up all the way. Oh. Wait. All right. You receive spinning bait. Uh, you receive spinning bait. Change the current bait. For spinning bait, you can do it by dragging new bait in place of the previous one. Alright, so... Cast the bait as far as it can. Alright. <clears throat> this is weird. I think this game is meant to take advantage of that screen, but it's like... It's kind of like Mario Maker, how it's like, it's not... 100% friendly would be on it's it's like yeah you can use it on TV but you know uh, it's just like it's a lot easier more preferred on touchscreen but whatever we're doing this anyways um, I think I'm just gonna finish up this episode with just this, bleh, just this tutorial or something I don't know but, you know maybe let's let's try 15 minutes uh, pull the line in so that the bait in the zoom window is properly guided the correct guiding of the bait is indicated by the green color. Watch the tip of the fishing rod when the rod starts to bend, then firmly move the virtual stick left. I am not I'm not following. 
Hold the line. Alright. I don't know what this left thing does here. So reel it in so it starts. Wait, that's letting go. Oh god! Wow, what the heck, what'd I do? It's so tricky. It's weird. I, it's like, ah, what do I do? Alright, so it's spinning like that. And I know when it comes to fishing, that's supposed to look like a little fishy in the water, and then the fish is like, oh no. Okay, pull it, so then pull the line so that the bait in the zoom window is properly guided. Alright. <clears throat> um, and by, by green color, watch the tip of the fishing rod starts to bend. And firmly moves virtual screen. Okay. So I'll be like, yeet. I'll be firmly, firmly yeet. Okay, so I gotta look at the tip of the fishing rod then. Oh, maybe I should put, I should put the fishing rod down like that. Everyone knows fishing takes a lot of pieces. Is it already right here? Alright. Yeah. I can't really tell if it's bending or not because there's a tree right here. Come on, fishies. Grab it. Just eat it. It's so delicious. How about we just... there we go. That way it's not right on it, like that. No! Alright, come on, fishies. Reel it in slowly. Looks like it's spinning right there on that window. This is definitely the kind of gameplay I'm sure you guys wanted to see. Someone's like, hey, you gonna do more Tomodachi-like videos? And I'm like, I don't know. I mean, like, do you want, like, specific song or like all the songs extended I mean I, I'm down for it I don't mind at all it's like no trouble at all but I mean hey fishing simulator Dang, how, how come I caught a fish earlier but now I'm not what am I doing wrong I'm doing everything right oh oh I got to do it faster yeah so I had to do it faster than that. All right. Uh, let's keep it. Good job. You successfully passed the fishing lesson in operation of the game. You receive a prize of 500 coins. Yeah. All right. So I guess it's not so much like real fishing. Oh, well, look, it kind of is. It's a little bit quicker than real life fishing, obviously, you know, because if you were, you'd be sitting on this game. You'd get like 100 hours in this game after doing like one of these little missions, whatever. Alright, so let's see. You know what, let's just make this a long episode because it's the first one. Alright? Let's... I don't know. Look, it's, see, it says it's raining there and then it's sunny here. Thundery. Dang. Look at all these these places to go to, levels. It's a lot. Crazy. Let's go to the fish market, let's see. Maybe we'll just end it off here. Oh, we don't have any fish for sale. There's fish in the water right there. Oh, look at that. Dang. Wait, how do I how do I check all those out? I wanna look at all the different colors I can get. Can I buy it? Oh, okay, there we go, that's how I do it. Dude, look at this! Look at this, man! This is like the ultimate fishing experience. Like that's it. It's literally in the name. What is this? Is this bread? Wait, is that a rock? Hold on. Oh, it's dough. I thought it was like just straight rock. You're throwing a rock in the water. A white worm. Ew. Looks like shrimp almost. I think this one is actually okay. Crawfish. Caster. You can do cherries. Huh. 
cheese? Really? I love how it's like the most cartoony looking cheese. Like other stuff here looks like somewhat realistic. This is just a triangle with a couple holes in it. Like slightly and then a snail? That's not a snail, that's a slug. Ugh. They got worms. What's this? Oh, that's you. Liver? What? People use liver as bait? Like for catching catfish? Holy crap. Dang. Live fish for catching fish. Pike, Xander, and bass. Dang. I'm not gonna lie, this is actually looking pretty fun. It's really interesting. You know, it would be really cool to get more interested in fishing because, like, my grandpa and my dad like, the, and my uncle, they all love fishing in real life. I guess this would be a cool way to, like, get more knowledge on it. So I could be, uh, just, like, get more in touch with fishing stuff, you know? That would be nice. But it is really interesting, though. Dude, I remember when I went fishing with my grandpa, it was so fun. We were there forever. I mean, like, if it was a little bit faster paced, you know, that'd be nice. But, like, I just don't have that much patience. I mean, they'll be there forever. I'm just like, uh, I just want to catch a fish already. Dang, this is nuts. All right, you know what? Yeah, next episode, guys. You're in for a treat. We're gonna have lots of stuff to do. We got fishing tasks. Look at this, what? You can go all over the world. Poland. Dang. What? Dude, this game keeps you busy. Holy crap. Man, it really is starting to look like it's worth the 10 bucks. And I got it for 30 cents. I feel like it just straight robbed the Aesop, dude. Holy crap. Maybe I'm getting overexcited about this or not. I don't know, but this is like, that's a lot of stuff. This is a lot of stuff. This is, like, some games you get, they're kind of crappy looking whenever, it's just like, whatever. But dude, this is like, freaking, like, the amount of effort put in this game looks like it's worth 10 bucks. Holy shit, that's so cool. Alright, that's gonna be it for this episode, guys. Uh, get excited for that. So now I know how to actually properly fish. I tried the first time, off camera, um, just playing on it whenever I was at my grandparents' house. But I didn't <laughs> figure it out. I guess because I'm reading out loud now and testing it out for, like, real. I said just playing with it real quick for, like, two minutes. I don't know. Anyways, thanks guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe as always. Uh, check out my merchandise. I've got merchandise on Teespring. There should be a link in the description for that. Um, also, support Revenite. It's a super cool game. I'm an artist for on the game. It's an indie game. It's looking really cool so far. Check it out. Heck, dude, if the, if the game comes out, like, in maybe, like, I don't know, less than five years. That's probably a long time, but still. Within the next five years, obviously, it'll be out. Heck, I'll freaking play it on the channel. No, I sort of will. It looks fun. It does. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Until the next video, bye-bye.